Okay, uh, today we're going to burn an ISO disk to the CD, and in this case we're going to burn the Ubuntu uh, live disk onto CD, and then you can run Ubuntu as uh, your operating system, even though you don't have Ubuntu installed. It won't change your normal system setup, it won't change Windows any at all. I'm using Windows XP and it doesn't have some of the uh, the software that you might have later on in the other versions, but I don't use Windows that much, so I don't have it. Um, first off, I went to Ubuntu.com and I downloaded the file and uh, the ISO file. If you go to Ubuntu.com directly, the first site that you'll see is Get Ubuntu Now, and you click there and then you get Ubuntu Desktop and Ubuntu Desktop, and you start the download, and you click there and it'll just automatically download. And I've already done that and already got the file. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes normally on a good day if you have a good fast connection. Uh, they, have a, they may get a little busy around the new versions, but uh, in times like now it's okay. You can get it pretty quickly. So the latest version out right now is 12.04. So what we do is open up the CD-ROM, and it will fit on a 700 uh, meg CD-ROM. Just open up the CD-ROM, put it in the disk, and if the disk then comes up and gives you an option what to do, just tell it nothing. Don't do anything. Okay, and we want to uh, uh, do nothing, take no action. Yeah, okay. So, take no action. So we just have the CD in the, in the drive, and now uh, what we're going, the software we're going to use, in this case, is free ISO burner dot exe. You can search for that online and get it downloaded. It's a pretty small file, 800k. Downloads very quickly. So when you have that, just we'll go ahead and execute it. And uh, I put it in the same folder with my uh, ISO files, and by doing that, it'll automatically open those files when I uh, open up the uh, option which one I want. And of course, I want the later version, 12.04, so select that. And uh, then we don't need a volume label or anything, so we just go ahead and just uh, open it up and go. Oh, I'm sorry, not open it. Uh, go down to the bottom and uh, execute it and burn. And that's all we need to do, just burn it. And uh, it takes a few moments, and when it's burned, that will be a bootable CD-ROM. And from that ROM, I mean from that uh, CD, you can boot up Ubuntu Linux uh, a version of Ubuntu Linux that will operate as if you had Ubuntu Linux installed on your computer. You can use that for a, a number of things, not the least of which is th that it has a program called Gparted. And Gparted will allow you to then burn CD, uh, burn uh, SD card images very, very easily. Uh, so that's it for now, and once it's through writing, we will have a bootable disk. I'll give you another a uh, video that shows you how to use it to burn an SD card. All right. Have a good day. Bye. By the way, it's Ray Waldo at uh, raywaldo.com, the Bishop of Technology. Check out our website for more information there.